Okay, it looks like we are live on Facebook as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Awesome, guys. Hey. We are ready to roll. Welcome, Martin from Cape Town. Natasha, back for day. You've been here every single day. Wonderful. The East Rand in the house, Joburg. Let us know where you guys are in from. I see the room is filling up slowly. It is Friday. So if you found yourself here, guess yeah. what? You are one <laughs> of the fortunate people because you made an awesome decision. Some people are going to be Netflix and chilling right now, but you're going to be learning. And you're going to be learning from someone amazing this evening. Okay, so we do know that Diane doesn't have a lot of time. She's got one hour with us. So we want to get right into the nitty gritty details let us know if you guys are excited for day number five. It is the last day of the sort of formal training. Tomorrow night, we do have our final day, which is more of a Q&A with everyone. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow again. But for the rest of you coming on this evening, doing all that homework that we asked you to do, okay, we've been keeping you busy. The engagement has been off the roof. In the Facebook group, we've been seeing it come through. So that was uh, very exciting to see. Okay. But this evening, we're going to be speaking something that I've become really passionate about in the, I would say, the last two years. And it's something called affiliate marketing. Now, if you've never, ever heard about affiliate marketing, if it's something that's new to you, I want you to drop new in the chat. If it's completely new, no matter where, uh, Fadil, if we can just pay attention to the comments coming through in Facebook as well. I tend to uh, forget will, that we have <laughs> the comments coming in on Facebook as well. New, okay, I see a whole lot of people saying new, new, new. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Right. Wonderful. Helen says new. Edwina says new. Okay, oh, cool. Awesome. Okay, awesome. so most people actually don't know what it is. It's the first time you're hearing about it. Okay, so I'm going to get off here really quickly because I want to make sure Diane has enough time to give you guys the goods. Now, I don't, I don't know if Diane knows the story about how I came across her originally online. But uh, I'm going to tell it very quickly. I was actually searching for answers a few years ago, and I found this online community, and there were trainings in there because I was a struggling network marketer. Who's been a network marketer and you were struggling to get leads online, and you didn't know what to do? <laughs> yeah, we're raising our hands, right? And I had no idea what to do. And I got into this community and I was going through the various trainings and I saw a bunch of trainers and I came across this lady uh, who had a funny hat on that particular evening on this webinar. <laughs> and she was with four other ladies. I still see that training on your YouTube channel, uh, actually, Diane, a uh, really old training. And I listened to it and I won't lie. At first, I didn't understand what they were talking about. It made no sense to me. But you know what? They say when the mind is ready, the mentor will appear, right? And a few years later, it sort of started making sense. And when I started learning some new ideas and marketing, real marketing, that's when I actually went back and I thought, wait, now I understand what that lady was talking about in that one webinar. Okay, so to give you guys some background, Diane used to be a network marketer. Okay, she's been in this industry for over 20 years. But her story is amazing because she literally was looking after two kids at the time, two daughters, and she was also a struggling network marketer, not knowing how to get leads, couldn't make sales, but wanted to spend more time with her kids. Which of the ladies can relate or which of the guys can relate to that? And in the last 20 years, she's become extremely successful in the home business space. And she's worked completely from home and literally built her life and her business from home. So if you guys are excited about learning how she did it, what her journey was, I want you guys to just drop that message, okay? Just drop excited in the chat because I promise you, she's going to teach you some skills that she learned that for many of you, you, you might be where I was at five years ago and you're not going to understand what she's speaking about. But I promise you, for those of you that get it, it's going to make sense. And you're going to get some good ideas about what it means to be a lifestyle entrepreneur. This is Diane's words, right? She says, 
She works for about a few days in a month, gets some emails out, and then she basically goofs around for the rest of the month because she's already sorted out her income for that month, right? Who wants, who wants a life like that? You work for a couple of days and all of a sudden you set up for the rest of the month. Okay, everyone, oh, they're saying me, definitely me. Diane, they're excited. Okay, so without further ado, guys, I'm going to bring on Diane all the way from New York in the United States. So give her a big hand on Facebook. On Guys, we're mostly South African over here. It is a global community that we have, but we've got a lot of South Africans. So let's give Diane a huge welcome. And uh, Diane, it's awesome to have you on the call. Thanks so much for making the time. It is so excited to be here. And I'm already excited. Maybe we'll go a little longer than an hour. I booked an hour, but I'm excited by this group and I'm excited by the message and what's going on. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to be here. So thankful I was invited. And um, as I've said that maybe some of you may not understand, by the time I'm done with you, everybody will understand what affiliate marketing is. The question is, 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 is it a good venue for you? It may be, it may not be, but I promise you'll understand. But I'm going to need help from you guys because culturally, one of my best friends is from South Africa, but she's lived here for, I don't know how many years, a few years. Um, and so I culturally do not know a lot. So I may give examples that are American and you guys need to help me out in case I say something that doesn't make sense for South Africa and or for, where's there anybody else not from South Africa? Where are you guys from? Uh, I've been to, I've been to Europe. I've been to South America. I lived in Europe for a while, actually. I just have not been to Africa yet, yet are the keywords. We're yeah, waiting for you. We're patiently waiting for you to come. <laughs> okay. I do understand some of some some of the differences. I do understand some of the economic differences, et cetera, et cetera, um, which puts you guys truthfully at a huge advantage because when you uh, access certain programs and certain dollars and different currencies, it can you know really become a lot of money for you. So I want you to re really pay good attention tonight. And it's 7 p.m. on Friday night over there. Is that what it is? Yes, 10 past so 7 got, right now. That's that's it, Friday night. We got the real serious people. The serious people are here tonight, which means I got to yeah. give them the good stuff, right? All right, good. Because most people, I was thinking, like, what do I want to do tonight? Do I want to go out? Do I want to stay home and watch a movie? I was thinking that before. So now I know anybody who's here tonight, I got to give you, I am obligated to give you the good stuff. I get fan lover. I am affiliated with a network marketing company. It's just not what my, my main focus is. And you guys will understand that in a minute, how that works. Um, I got started when I had two small children, um, in 19, 99. Yes, I'm that old. And uh, oh, there was any other options. I didn't know there was anything else. I knew one company, one product line, and that's all I knew. All my focus was on learning certain skills. I didn't know I had a choice. It, um, I think one of the challenges today is people get so distracted by so many choices and so many things that it's really hard to focus. We start to think, well, maybe that's better. Maybe this is better. Maybe that's better. And what I'm going to do tonight, first of all, first thing I want you guys to understand is none of it's better. None of it's worse. What it is, is you finding the place that you fit with the people that you relate to with the products or services that you feel good about, that you feel excited about. So I have friends in every spectrum of the industry. I have friends that are, I mean, let's put it this way. They're in some, some things that may not be hundred percent legal in the United States. Okay. <laughs> Whether they are there or not, but people like it and they're happy. And I have friends all the way on the other end of the spectrum that are very, very big network marketing leaders with teams in the tens of hundreds of thousands, really. I have friends that own their own independent things, create their own products, do all different things. And really what it comes down to is learning marketing skills, right? Because what is this? It's called the Lifestyle Entrepreneur Summit. Is that what okay. it's called? Yes. Yeah. So that's really what it is. It's what is your lifestyle? What is your personality? What suits you? I did write the other day. I basically 
do a campaign most months, bring in the bulk of the money for the month and then spend the rest of the month loving on people and helping people without pressure to have to sell them all the time. Um, do I not work the whole month? No, of course, I, I always do work. But what I'm doing is creating and fostering people, you know, creating an audience or, or creating this group of people and loving on them and then serving them with different products and services that would help them. So let's talk about affiliate marketing because that's where that comes in. Are you guys cool if I use the, the like the drawing uh, little? Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Um, what do you guys, what do you guys give me, do you have a hobby or something you're into? You're into sports? Are you into anything? Is there something? Fadil's like? really into golf. Fadil's big into golf. It's a big golfer. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> for a big golfer. Go. God, my daddy was a big golfer. Okay. So, okay. Uh, we're going to go over here and draw. And I'm just going to draw and my drawing is bad, but it's going to help <laughs> you. You only see the whiteboard right now, right? You don't see my messy desktop. Yeah. Whiteboard. Okay, good. I just want to make, I don't want you guys distracted. Okay, I'm going to draw pictures and we're going to put right here. We're going to put F, right? Okay, this is you. Now, you like to golf. Okay. Let's put a little box here, likes to golf. Okay, if somebody's a golfer and the audience can answer this, what's one of the things that they buy to be a golfer? What's something that people buy? And you guys can answer in the chat and you guys can tell me what they say or you guys can tell me. What's one of the things that people buy? Golf shoes, golf, uh, golf club. Big, start with the big thing. Start with the biggest thing. Um, golf clubs, probably. Golf clubs, golf right? club. And golf clubs ain't cheap, especially if you like good ones. Yeah, right? no, they're not. <laughs> golf clubs, right? So you buy golf clubs. Take a second mortgage for that one. <laughs> right. So somebody might think my market, have you guys covered what markets are and stuff like that? Or should I talk about it? No, you can go into it, Diane. We haven't really covered uh, all the other sessions were completely unrelated to this. So uh, you can treat it as uh, in, they haven't heard about it. Okay. So depending on what, what, what we're selling or what, what we call on the internet, what space we're in. I might be in the ballerina space and I sell tutus and ballet shoes. I might be in the, um, I'm trying to think of something that's relevant, the automobile space and I sell cars. I sell accessories for cars. I sell cars. I could be in the internet marketing space and I sell internet marketing opportunities. I could be in network marketing and I sell a network marketing opportunity or perhaps a health and wellness product or maybe a crypto service, or maybe a, you know, there's all different types of options. What most people that are new marketers, new entrepreneurs, they start and they think there's only one thing to sell, right? My, 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 my vitamins, my, whatever it may be, my lotions, my potions, they think there's only one thing to sell. But what I want to show you guys tonight is that when you work with a group of people that are interested in something like golf, they don't just buy one thing. They buy lots of things. And on the internet, we're able to go locate the things that they want to buy and find companies that are willing to let us to sell their product or service to those folks. And that's called becoming an affiliate, okay? I can find a company that sells golf clubs and I can target Fabio, I can target him and I can potentially sell him some golf clubs. He's a golfer, he likes golf. I find a company that sells golf clubs. I make a deal with them or they have a program where I can earn a percentage to sell him golf clubs. Are you guys following that? And check the audience. Just okay. See. Just drop in the chat if you guys understand what Diane just explained. Uh, drop a one or yes. Or ask a question. And by the way, if you're a network marketer, you are an affiliate marketer. You have an arrangement with a company where they're going to allow you to sell their products and services. But usually in network marketing, there is a multi-level pay plan. So you earn a smaller commission up front 
because you're earning commissions on top of the people that you bring into the business, what they do. So it's multi-level commissions, usually pays out about the same percentage. You guys tell me if I'm getting a little head, but is the bulk of the group network marketers or what do we have? A little bit of everybody? There's a little bit of everyone. So uh, I think I think that makes sense. I think the message sort of came through that if we have someone interested in uh, Forex or crypto or nutritional supplements, the mistake that uh, a lot of network marketers make or that people make is that they think they only have this one product that they should yeah. be selling. Mm. Yeah. And they're making the mistake because there's so many other things they could be selling these people that are sort of related to what that niche of people is interested in. Do you guys exactly. understand that concept? That's a big one, guys. By the way, that's that's huge. That's and huge. The, this is so real world. I want everybody to understand. This isn't about the internet. When you go to the supermarket, they don't just sell eggs or something. They don't just sell bread. They don't just sell milk or you know I don't know what the favorite thing to eat over there. They sell everything. They have different aisles. And if you are health minded, you don't go down the aisle that has all the chips and candy mm. and junk food. If you're uh, somebody who loves chips and candy and junk food, that's your favorite aisle. The supermarket knows who are the people that come into a supermarket? Who comes into a supermarket? Somebody in the chat, tell me. Who comes into a supermarket? People that are what? Bias. And I can't see the, I can't see the chat. No well, problem. The supermarket, no. you don't no. go in the supermarket just as a buyer, right? You go in the supermarket because you need what? You need a product. <laughs> you need something. <laughs> You're thinking too fancy. Come in the real world. I can go, I, if I go in the car dealership, what am I looking for? A car. car. A car. If I go in the supermarket, what am I looking for? Bread, milk. Food, right? Food. food. <laughs> I go in the supermarket because I want to buy food. Yeah. They know, the supermarket knows, or the food store, even the corner store, small store, they know that people come into that store want to buy food they need to feed their kids right they want to buy food have you ever bought something in a supermarket that wasn't food yes all the time <laughs> yeah so the supermarket said wait a minute he's gonna come in to get some food for his family but maybe he needs toilet paper or maybe he needs razors or maybe he needs I don't know if it's summertime, a cooler chest for his beers, you know, maybe he needs this. And they start to stock their shelves with different things that the people that they know would be their best customers, people who want food, might also need. You guys Got follow it. that. So, 100%. so what it. this is, is we're starting to think about who are the people that we want as our customers. What is the main thing they want to buy? In the case of a supermarket, it's food. In the case of a car dealership, it's a car. In the case of a golf store or a pro shop, mm -hmm. it's golf clubs, right, are the main thing. The guy who sells the golf clubs, the supermarket that sells the food, didn't make the food or the golf clubs, did they? Nope. No. They they didn't create them. What they're doing them is getting them from another company that allows them to sell their product and earn a percentage of the sale. Okay, so if I want to set up a pro shop, I'm going to open a golf course and I'm setting up a pro shop, I am not going to create the Callaway clubs, the ping clubs, the whatever clubs. I'm going to make arrangements with Callaway to carry their products. And I'm going to earn a percentage when I sell those golf clubs. Is, Got it. Guys, Makes sense. Did you guys, did you guys get that? Did you guys just get what Diane said, right? Okay. Instead of just focusing on selling this one product, remember what we said when I, when I sort of gave you a brief intro of Diane last night, what did I say? I said, we're going to be speaking or hearing from a mom who's built a home-based business that has multiple income streams. And you guys wanted to know how does she build multiple income streams working from home? Yeah. 
Okay. And she just told you exactly how, because what she's saying is instead of me just selling one product, which is say my network marketing product, I fi she finds out, oh, network marketers, what do they want? They also want to find out how to build their business. Maybe I'll sell them a lead generation okay, tool. Oh, stop, let me stop. stop. So okay. Because no, I want to bring them down the road. Okay. And, and I'll point out one thing. You noticed before when I said what kind of people go in a supermarket, Asam went to something a little bit more complicated, a buyer, a market, or this, because because he's thinking kind of fancy. One of my claims to fame is that because I was a mom, like a, a housewife, right? I was just, I, I had no marketing background. I had no, nothing fancy. I just looked at how regular stores in the real world did this. I didn't use terms like audience and um, list and targeting and, um, uh, what do they what do they call it? Uh, um, um, scaling and all of these these fancy words. And I'm not saying they're incorrect. They're correct. But I didn't know any of that. All I knew is I went down to the corner store and I'd go in for some like uh, bread and some meat for a sandwich. And I'd also buy some tomatoes and I'd also buy some pickles and I'd get some candy for the kids. Edwina and in the chat says one stop shop, Diane. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. I get to know who is my market. So if my market, let's go back to this, is golfers, right? If my market is golfers, most people would think the only thing I can sell them is the golf clubs, the big thing, the big main thing. But golfers buy, oops, I don't wanna do that, I wanna do this. Sorry for my drawing, but you guys will get, um, whoops. Golfers buy, um, what you call it, gloves. Okay, they buy uh, balls. Right, they buy um, those those little plastic balls that have holes in them. They're like wiffle balls to practice or practice practice balls. They buy um, like those those little um, like putting machines that you keep in your in your office, and so like you're having a meeting and then you practice uh, like a putting game. They buy. Um, Martin says teas. Teas. What does that mean? Uh, Fadil, you'll know you the golfer. What are the teas? Is those little pins they put in the ground? Oh, tease, tease. I thought you meant tease like na 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 boo boo. Okay, this stuff popped up on my computer. There it goes. Okay. Yes, tease. I thought you meant like tease, like hey baby. <laughs> like, <tease. laughs> like what a tease. Yeah, tease. Right. So there's a zillion things. And I want you guys to write this down. This is so profound. I remember when I learned it. It 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 went into my head. When somebody makes a purchase they almost always make a second corresponding purchase to validate their decision to make the first purchase. I'm gonna repeat it, so don't worry. And I'll say it in other words. When somebody makes a purchase, particularly if it's a bigger purchase, an important purchase, they almost always make a second corresponding purchase to validate to themselves that they made the right decision in making the first purchase. What does that mean? That's very fancy talk, isn't it? It's very fancy. What it means is when somebody buys something and they make a big decision to buy something like to sign up for an opportunity or to invest in something, they almost always go buy something else to remind themselves that they made a good decision to buy the first thing. So for example, if you go and sign up for the gym, it's January, I know you like to work out. It's January, it's a new year, I'm going to get fit. I signed up for the gym. What am I gonna go buy next? What am I gonna buy? If I just signed up for the gym and I made the big decision, I'm going to get fit, what am I gonna go buy? Well, you're gonna get the clothing, you're gonna get the supplements. Right, there, uh, I'm gonna get sneakers, 
I'm going to get the, the, you know, the workout clothes. I'm going to get the tank top with the logo. I'm going to get the sweat jacket. I'm going to buy the supplements. And so I may spend a hundred dollars joining the gym or whatever that might be there. And I'm going to go spend a lot more buying things to validate or to, or to tell myself, you're going to do this. I'm going to spend a lot more money. Now, if I buy golf clubs, you think I'm going to buy golf clubs without the, without the, whatever you call the thing that they go in. Oh, you know, the, the bag. Yeah, the bag. Exactly. You think I'm going to buy golf clubs without the bag? No. Do you think I'm going to buy golf clubs without those cute things you put on top of the putters, like little, those little knit things? You think I'm going to buy the golf clubs without picking up some tees and some balls and some, and I'm going to buy some of the expensive balls because I'm going to get really good, but I'm going to buy some cheap balls to practice because they'll go in the, they'll go in the traps, you know, they'll go in the lake. I'm going to buy the, the, the plaid outfit <laughs> and the, and the hat <laughs> and the whole thing and the socks that come up to your knees. I'm going to buy the whole get it because I've made the decision I am a top tier golfer and I'm going to get whatever Tiger Woods would have worn or whoever, or Nick, I can't think of his name, Nick, I, whatever. I know my father watches golf all day. I can't think of any of the people, Jack Nicholson, whatever stuff. Okay. I'm also going to get the videos to remind me about how to do my swing. I'm also going to hire a hypnotist to help me with my swing. I'm going to invest all this money on things that the first guy forgot to sell me because he thought he could only sell me golf clubs. So I may be going in a direction that's different than you might've expected, but until we understand that people make a lot of purchases to go with their purchases, and we can make arrangements with companies to sell almost anything under the sun, we become an affiliate with that company, we can, sell almost anything under the sun to our marketplace that we start to build. So I have always focused on my marketplace, my people that trust me more than my opportunities because the people will continually buy if I treat them right. They will come back over and over and over. They will move to different things if I tell them this is good. If, if I tell them they should learn TikTok now, they're going to take a course on TikTok. If I tell them that they should learn how to stand on their head and make videos, they're going to take a course on how to stand on their head and make videos. Not because I'm maliciously selling to them, because the store, the supermarket didn't maliciously sell you razors. They had them available because you came in for food and you needed them. So it's about serving the people, serving the people. So let's back up for a minute. Does anybody have questions? I see the comments, the chat went wild. So, and, and you might want to, I don't know if you do, but I, I like to have them put the actual the conversation in the chat and any questions in the Q and A, because that way we can find them instead of scrolling through. Um, but are people following this concept? It does look like they are. Okay, guys, maybe just drop a message in the chat if you, understand this concept of becoming an affiliate and i think what diane uh, was saying just so we can uh, I, I hope you guys are taking a lot of notes right because this is so important what diane is saying is she's identified a marketplace in this example people who play golf and she's really trying to understand what it is th that those people want and what they want to use and she's saying i can sell them almost anything that they would need to become successful in what it is they want to do. So Fadil wants to become a great golfer. So if Diane is the uh, a home-based business owner, she's basically doing what? She's saying, Fadil, you bought golf clubs? I got you on the bags. I got you on the sneakers. I got you on the tees. And now what happens? She's now got multiple streams of income why? Because she's serving that audience and giving them everything they need to achieve that goal that they want. Are you guys getting that? Yeah, it seems like it. So I don't know if, uh, if Brian is a question or a comment. He says, how to approach a company to become an affiliate? We will get there in a moment. Yeah, so Very Ibrahim will, will take it. Was it, was it, was it Ibrahim? Coming. I didn't see the name. I thought it that's, was right. Ibrahim, that's right, Ibrahim, that's right. Ibrahim, yeah, I'm going to get you there. Don't worry. Perfect. How you can pretty much tell anything. So 
if in the example that we just did, uh, let's say I made $300 selling the golf clubs. Okay, maybe that might've been my, my commission. But if I sell him everything else, I can double the value of one customer. I can potentially triple or quadruple the value of one customer. And I want to tell you guys a story. You might have heard this story, Aslam. I don't, I don't know if you did. Um, the company that you know me from, several years ago, they, they have a leadership group. And they invite different leaders to join the group and the benefits to being in the leadership group. And one of the owners called me and he said, unfortunately, you're not producing enough we're going to have to take you out of the leadership group. And I said, oh, sorry to hear that. You know, I said, but before you do that, do one thing. I want you to run a different report. Don't look at how many people I brought in the door. Look at how much money per person is made. I think you'll find the numbers very interesting. He goes, oh, what do you mean? He goes, you didn't recruit enough people. You know, not recruit, sell, whatever, bring in enough members. I said, go, go, go run that report and call me back. He calls me back and I'm not gonna use the words he used because it was holy blank, Diane. I was earning, and so were they because I'm their affiliate. I sell their products and services four times more than anybody else per person. And they hadn't thought about it that way. And I said, you see, I got little kids. I don't have all day to run around like a chicken. I don't have all day to run around and beg people. I have a family, I'm making dinner, I'm going to the park, I'm, I'm being a mom. I need to gain more leverage. And ever since then, they've never given me a hard time ever again because I was making more money per person because I understood this concept, what we call wallet share. I got more of their purchases. And that was just with the one company. He wasn't even seeing the money that I was making per person in other things that they were buying from me. So Diane, if I can just, uh, guys, uh, Diane will never mention this. So I'm rather gonna mention it. And I should have mentioned it right at the beginning. But Diane is the, there's a company where I'm an affiliate as well, where Diane has been an affiliate for quite a few years. And she's their number one all time top earning affiliate in that company by a huge margin compared to every other person. And I know she's a, a top affiliate in many other companies. And this is why you guys need to take a lot of notes because the knowledge that's going to come from here is going to be amazing. Sorry, Diane. I just, I know you'll never throw that in there, but I wanted to throw it in. I like to let other people say it. I don't mind the people know what I like for other. I don't like to brag. Um, I like to teach. I don't like to brag, but if somebody wants to tell the story, it's true. Um, so now that we understand this concept that we build a market or we build an audience, those are the words, to me, it was just find customers. That's the way I thought about it. You know, back then I didn't, I didn't know any of this stuff. I just knew, okay, let me get a customer. Let me get the customer started on something, whatever the most popular thing was. And then let me show the customer other things that they might want to buy that go along with the thing they bought in the first place. It's a very real world concept that's very rarely taught in this industry. So I started out in a network marketing company that had a very large product line. So I did it within their product line. You know, they had nutritionals and weight loss and this and that, but they also had shampoo. They had originally executed this within the confines of my network marketing company. Because one, I didn't know I was in network marketing. <laughs> I didn't know a network pre-internet. So I just figured out how to earn more money per person. So that gave me less people I needed to take care of and more money. 
when the internet became very popular and social media was born 2005, 2006, 2007, that's when I started to realize that I could become an affiliate with pretty much any company I wanted. Now in the money-making space, we hear about affiliate programs, like you and I are involved in an affiliate program and it's a money-making type of thing. They have education, um, it's marketing education. It's a wonderful place. And the reason why I stay is because they treat people really well and people tend to stay, which means I make money long-term. Um, so there's affiliate programs that are very visible, especially in the money-making space. But aside from that, Somebody name something. Tell me something you guys sell. I don't mean your specific product name, but something space you're in, things you sell. Somebody tell me something. Just um, what you have for me. I sell, I sell property. Okay, I, I'm looking for somebody from the from the community to tell me, let's see, let's see. like somebody uh, jewelry. jewelry. Excellent, yeah. excellent. I like jewelry. Okay, let's just. And guys, I have no idea what we're gonna find. I'm I'm about to share my screen. Let me. I don't have any weird windows open. Uh, I don't think I do. Um, let me just close this down. Uh, close this down too before I show my screen. I do not know what we are going to find. This is not pre-planned. I didn't know somebody was going to say jewelry. I feel like a magician. There's nothing up my sleeve. Okay. So if I sell jewelry, what's something else that people that buy jewelry buy? Hmm. How about jewelry cleaner? Jewelry okay. cleaner. Okay. Yes. So the first thing anybody can, well, not anybody, there's a couple hoops you have to jump through. You can become an Amazon affiliate. Um, so you can earn money on pretty much anything that you sell from Amazon. And by the way, that's the model that a lot of influencers on TikTok and Instagram use. They use um, uh, Amazon links and they sell Amazon products and but you only earn like four percent see i like 30 40 50 percent that's me i like you know less work more money um but we could do that but we could take a look so she says jewelry containers for storage maybe a safety box for the jewelry mm -hmm. yeah jewelry boxes great so a couple things jewelry box i like because that's more money okay So I'm just searching jewelry box affiliate program, okay? Fantasy jewelry box affiliate program. I don't know what this is. We're just looking. Let's see what they sell. Fantasy jewelry box affiliate program provides your web tracking access to fantasyjewelrybox.com. Let's take a look at what fantasyjewelrybox.com is. Because your job is to think about your people and what do they need. So let's take a look. Fantasy jewelry box. By the way, I always get super nervous because I'm afraid some weird porn site or something will come <laughs> up and I'll be because, because I don't know what, what we're gonna see. You know, like fantasy jewelry box in one of many things. Okay. So these guys <laughs> sell actually, these guys actually sell jewelry. Okay, now let me show you something. They don't sell like jewelry box. They sell jewelry. Okay. A lot of times if we find some, let's say you sell this kind of jewelry, but this is um, CZs or something, something you don't sell. You can scroll down to the bottom of any page on any website of anything that's for sale. And look, a lot of times in this little part down here, you're gonna find affiliate or affiliates. This one doesn't have it here because they have a separate page, which I'll show you. But if you happen to find something that you think your people would like, software, anything, the first thing you're gonna do is scroll down to the bottom and see if you see affiliate. This has a rewards program, but a lot of times you'll see affiliate here. In fact, you'd be stunned at how many pages and or you search their site name affiliate program. So they do have an affiliate program Uh, 
Ah, so right now it's not open to the public. Let me go back and we're gonna look for. You know, while the end, guys, while Diane is looking for that, uh, like Diane is saying, there's an affiliate program for almost anything. I was amazed. I was browsing through TikTok a, a few days ago and I found a guy who's actually an affiliate for Emirates, the airline. I didn't know Emirates has an affiliate oh, yeah. program. You can totally become an affiliate for most airlines. You can totally become an affiliate for most hotel programs. You can, wow. this, almost anything. <laughs> so this is a person trying to sell us training. Um, here, who's Monica Miner? Beautiful jewelry collections. I'm just trying to find an example for you guys. Okay, great. Everything's cookies in this. Okay, so this particular person offers 10% commissions and I'm not gonna get into what cookies are on today. It's too, it's too in depth, okay? So if you refer somebody to her, now this may be a conflict if you sell jewelry and you don't want to sell other people's jewelry, but I'm just kind of searching for things um, just to give you guys an idea. If you refer somebody to any of these things, maybe there's something that complements what you sell or maybe you only sell rings and they have bracelets or whatever, you could earn 10% for sending someone to a link that they give you here for any of their products. Um, jewelry affiliate program, custom jewelry affiliate program, jewelry affiliate, bracelet affiliate program. So I guess there's not, not much in the way of jewelry boxes. But let's look at this, Rockstar Jewelry Box. Oh, this is a subscription program. Mm. Um, this is like a monthly, they send you a piece of jewelry. Let's scroll down to the bottom. I'm just looking to see if we can find, no, they don't have it. I'm looking to find a good example. And again, I told you, I didn't pre-search this, so I don't know. Um, but almost anything, if you do a little Googling, you are going to find that every company that produces something want you to sell their stuff. And I'm looking for a company that actually just has their own site. This is all like Overstock. By the way, overstock.com, you can become an affiliate for. Nordstrom, you can become an affiliate for. That's a US. Wayfair, you can become an affiliate program. So let's see Wayfair. You guys familiar with Wayfair? It's kind of a popular brand over here. I don't know about over there. No, not at all. First time I've seen it. Well, yeah, I don't know if they, they're very popular over here. I don't know if they operate in, in Europe or Africa. So obviously you're Googling. <laughs> yeah. Well, your Googling, your Googling will, will, will give you geographic. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see about Wayfair, Wayfair credit card, Wayfair locations, my accounts. Of course, I look like a fool because I, I told everybody, oh, you can find this everywhere, <laughs> everything I look at. But wait, sometimes you have to do a different search. Is this training different than what you expected, Asla? Look at, there you go. Very different, but it's uh, interactive. So uh, it, it's real, it's real world, right? So people can actually see what they could be doing. Yeah. So basically I'm not gonna get into all of this, but you can earn 5% on anything that Wayfair sells and they sell jewelry boxes, jewelry trees, jewelry, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm sure there's brands in your neck of the woods um, and your part of the world. Same thing, you can become an affiliate for almost anything. But here's the problem. It's very exciting. Oh my God, I sell all this stuff. I sell all this stuff. Oh my gosh. And you could spend the rest of your week, weekend, right? You could spend it doing all of this research and all of this stuff and signing up for all these affiliate programs and yiddy, 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 all this stuff. And you can go for months without making a dime because you're so busy. Because what happens is most people think I only have one or two things I can possibly sell. How do I sell this thing? Okay, this is where the thinking comes backwards. Most people are like, I have this thing. How do I sell it? I think I have a market that wants to buy things. Where do I find the things to sell them? It's a different thought process. Do you guys have like flea markets or? Yes. Yes. Are they popular? Because they're real popular here. Um, they, popular they are. I, I don't see as many. 
I don't see as many around. We used to have a really big one here in uh, Johannesburg. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. But uh, okay. they do still. People, they like more like pop-up uh, flea markets. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and I imagine, I, somebody just said pre-COVID, I imagine COVID has, has I, I just almost like Freudian slipped and said infected, but affected everyone. <laughs> okay. If you were going to get a stall at a flea market, wouldn't you think about what people want to buy? What's going to be a seller? What's going to move? Sure, if, definitely. If, if we had a flea market tomorrow out in Johannesburg, what would you pick to sell? What would sell? What would move? And if I'd, I'd probably go and sell food. <laughs> People food. get hungry. <laughs> right, because they may not buy something, but everybody's going to buy food. Everybody's going to go down to the flea market, to the, to the swap meet. They're going to buy a snack, refreshments, cold water, right? Isn't it funny how we all intuitively know, right? Everybody's going cold drinks, it's hot day, cold drinks. Everybody knows if it's a hot, guess what? If it's raining, guess what sells? <laughs> go to New York City, go to New York City. Y'all let me know when you're coming. Well, I'll come down and meet with you. I, I live like not too far from there, um, right? If it's raining, you sell umbrellas. If it's hot out, you sell cool drinks. You sell little fans, you sell, we all know this, don't mm. we? Don't we? Because we're all little entrepreneurs when we were kids. How do you get mommy to give you what you want? You do what makes her happy, right? Yes. To get what yeah. you want. Hats, exactly. Hot, sunny day, you sell hats. So when I approach business, I look for, here's a market that wants to buy things. How do I locate the things to sell them? I don't look at, I have this thing and I want to push it on someone. See, that's network marketing, right? I bought this, I got this thing, and now I got to convince my uncle that it's really good for him. That's rough stuff, okay? Now, I'm not saying your network pro uh, network marketing products aren't awesome. You just have to think, think about who's the market that wants them, mm. that wants them. So affiliate marketing can be an incredible lifestyle because it allows you to locate products and services that, um, that people want. And it allows you to put those products and services in front of people. By the way, Ibrahim asked, how do you become an affiliate? <clears throat> most programs, most companies, you're just searching for blankety blank affiliate program, like here. Emirates affiliate program. Okay. And then you take a look and you see if you can find that information. And I would say it's probably right on their, their web page. So a lot of times you're going to scroll down, you're going to look for where it says affiliates and find it. Mm. Not asking help and content. So I accept your cookies. Um, I actually searched it the other day on my phone when I saw that and there's definitely yeah there's definitely an affiliate program somewhere I just can't remember where I found it on this website some of them are visible and some of them are kind of hidden um, for example do you guys all know who Tony Robbins is the big yes. personal development trainer um he had uh, a launch there you had to be personally invited privately invited to be a part an affiliate for that program there's tons of programs um that are not public whether it's from a particular company or whether it's from a big trainer or anything else there's a lot of things that are that are private and you kind of have to know people to get in but there's lots of things that are very public. There's also many that you apply for, software, all kinds of stuff like that. Always scroll down to the bottom first, then Google second. Sometimes there's not an affiliate program. And then the third thing you would do, if you desperately, you really wanted to sell something, like you really, like you knew it was for your people, you can write to the company and say, you know, my name's so-and-so, uh, I own a business and I cater to golfers and um, primarily focus on selling this, 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 and this, but we feel that your product would be a phenomenal match for our, for our customers. 
do you guys and write this down do you guys do jvs jv like like j is in junk v is in vessel i don't know jvs okay that stands for joint venture mm. joint venture yes do i'm just put it in the chat JVs. Do JV or you could say or do you guys have an affiliate program okay but i like to say jvs if i reach out to a company because if I say, do you have an affiliate program and they don't, they'll say no. If I say, do you guys do JVs? They'll often say yes, because I'm somebody who has a market and they're somebody who has a product. Because here's the secret. Whoops, I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing, I did the wrong thing. Guys, I, I was uh, just today, earlier today, I actually found out Porsche, the motor vehicle company, actually has an affiliate program. They call it a partner program. And you're not necessarily just selling the cars. It's like you're selling the key rings and the, the clothing and the caps. And, you know, so if you were someone that's, for example, in the motor vehicle niche, you could be selling, uh, you know, products from Porsche. But you, in that one, you've got to apply. It's not very visible. You've got to apply to become an affiliate or a partner with them. You know, it's interesting The the Wynn Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is a very famous resort, they have uh, a Porsche store just like that. So mm. they have, they have that they're selling Porsche merchandise. Uh, hang on. Here's how it all works. You can call it market audience, you can call it whatever you want. One person has a market or an audience and another person has a product or a service. Okay. Like for example, I have a list. I have an email list. I have a list of people that open my emails and read my emails. As I might put together a product and you might reach out to me two months from now and go, hey, I put this together. I don't know if it'd be a match for your list. Do you want to take a look at it and see if it's something you want to JV on? I have the market. He would have the product. Um, I might reach out to somebody who has a big podcast, right? Big podcast. Mm. And I might say to them, hey, I have this course I'm putting together. I think it'd be very relevant for your listeners. I don't know if you're accepting guests with an offer, we do a 50-50 split. Basically, he'd become my affiliate. He would earn 50% of the sales. He has the market. I have the product, okay? I always, always, always focused on building that market. And I didn't worry about the products, which is like, oh, in the home business space, everybody's like, no, my product's better than your product. I have the best product on earth. There's always a product. Very few people can do do what you guys have done here and put together an audience. I know they're not coming to get you guys, but very few people can gather a crowd, gather a group on a webinar, gather a group on an email list. Very few people understand that process. If you understand that gathering a crowd, just like they would have at a flea market, step right up, let me show you this newest, you know, best thing or cold water and there'd be a crowd. Very few people know how to gather a crowd. If you sell to a crowd, it's very easy. If you're selling to one person and trying to convince them, it's very hard. It's deep. It's deep. So I always focused on getting a crowd together and then finding what they wanted versus finding a product and going out and trying to find people and convince them to buy. It's a complete reversal of what most of us have been taught or we think we know. And that's how I did it. So being an affiliate, one of the reasons why I love being an affiliate is because all I do is run my mouth or run my fingers or do a TikTok or something and tell people about the cool thing. And the company packages it, creates it, packages it, delivers it, does customer support runs the merchant accounts and the credit cards and everything else. And they just send me money. That's why being an affiliate is so good. By the way, that's also true of network marketing. Network marketing, my job is to get people onto the product and then the company does all the work. That's why there are two such phenomenal models. Um, mm -hmm. There's been a big push to teach everybody to create their own stuff. And I think that's cool. 
Um, but the average home business owner, that puts a lot of pressure on them. It puts a lot of work on them. It puts a lot of, you know, merchant accounts and all of these things that they have to do. They have to learn to write and they have to learn to the delivery and they have to learn the websites and they have to learn it. it's I was a housewife. I had to change diapers. I didn't <laughs> figure that out. I just wanted to get somebody to click and back then it wasn't even click and order. I took their money. Today it's click and order. So that's affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is locating companies that have something you want to sell to people and earning a percentage of that sale without having to do any of the work. Guys, so that's a big one. I'm putting it into the chat right now. I don't know if you guys pick that point, but a big point as an affiliate, you don't have to worry about producing the product. All you have to do is worry about promoting it, right? Which takes a lot of the, think about it. When you're starting a business, it's so difficult to set up a manufacturing plant and, you know, have your human resources department and have the staff and have, and you've got to deliver everything. So as an affiliate, you're basically take, getting rid of all the baggage of a traditional business, which is why Diane loves this, right? I'm sure she could produce products all day long if she wanted to, but she okay. likes being what we call a lifestyle entrepreneur. She wants to yes, enjoy. And that's the whole point, right? Whole <laughs> no point. admin. <laughs> no that's administration. Just no promote do. and collect the money. I'm, I'm a solopreneur. I don't even have, I don't even have like um, VAs or anything. I have nothing. Oh. And, and I know that's bizarre and I probably should have an assistant or something, but <laughs> I've made more money from cruise ships and stuff like that than anybody I know. Cause I'm always off somewhere doing something. I'm a lifestyle entrepreneur truly. And a big part of that is letting other people do a lot of the heavy work. If you have the audience, you can make a lot leverage. of leverage. Yeah. And that's all I focus on is leverage. If you have an audience, you can make a lot of money because there's always a product to sell. People always, people are always hitting you up asking you to sell stuff to your audience. Think about so, guys, it. once again, big tip, right? Big tip. What Diane is saying is, we, you, as when you're becoming an affiliate, one of the biggest parts is you become, you're building a community, you're building an audience. Okay, this, this is extremely. This is uh, when you go onto YouTube. Every YouTube video you actually watch. If you really pay close attention to what they're doing, they actually more often than not directing you to a link. And when you buy from that link, that person earns a commission. It's the same on Instagram. Okay, think about people who uh, gather an audience. Let's just say Fadil is a really brilliant golfer and he only hits holes in one. I know he wishes he could do that, but let's just say he could. <laughs> But let's just say he started a, a, an Instagram uh, account or a YouTube channel and uh, he just shows people how he hits holes in one. All of a sudden, he's going to find all the golfing companies calling him and saying, will you wear our caps? Will you wear this? Uh, you know, and all he's got to then do is put little affiliate links below his videos. And uh, because so many people are now watching, all the golfers are watching him. Guess what's going to happen? He's now going to earn affiliate commission from these people and all these companies. So if he was in a, in a network marketing company and he was only thinking of one product, how much money is he leaving on the table? Because he's not keeping his audience in mind. He's not thinking about what they need and what they want. So those, that's a big point, guys, building that, that crowd, that audience. And what's interesting is he could be in a network marketing company. He could be drinking an energy drink and say, let me just take a sip of my energy drink before we get started. And then everybody goes, what's your energy drink? And then you go, oh, it's over here. I get it from this company. And he's Oof. literally enrolling them like that. So it's, and he could be selling ball caps and he could be selling shoes and he could, because pretty much anything he recommends. But I really want to make sure everybody realizes you don't have to be somebody who can only hit hole in once. Because I was, um, and still to this day, my persona is techno idiot, struggling to figure this out. I not too long ago sold so much of a graphic software that the company called me and said, who are you? And the reason why is because everybody uses Canva, which is a great mm -hmm. software. 
and you can start it for free. But when I use this other one, I can whip the graphics off in seconds. So my testimonial saying, listen, this is easy for hundreds of them, Perfect. hundreds of them. And wow. it's funny and, and it's not because it's better. It's not, that's what I want everybody to understand. The software isn't better. It's not better at all. And I am not claiming to be an expert. I'm claiming to be somebody who's very challenged. But when you put together, there's more people that are challenged than experts. There's more people that are looking for something like this was also inexpensive. So you put it all together and it was my recommendation based upon people knowing that I'm not very technical that made those sales. So you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a pro. That's the thing that's really cool. Like if you're a newbie and you're just like, just talking about your experience and you're saying, I tried this and um, I really like it. People will buy it. You'd be stunned that in, in 22 years later, millions and millions and millions and millions of sales later, I still hang on to, I'm still not very technical. I, as you can tell by my beautiful PowerPoint presentation, my incredible <laughs> talk, I'm not technical. It, it would take me so long to make the PowerPoint where I know this stuff like the back of my hand, I can make money on demand. So why would I sit and make the PowerPoint? And some people will look at me and go, well, if she were all that, she'd have somebody do it for her. It would take me so long to explain it to someone. It, 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 I just go. And I'm looking for people that are looking for me. That's the words that my mentor taught me. Changed my life. I'm looking for people that are looking for me. I was looking for moms. I was looking for moms that didn't want to get caught up into you know, being obsessed with an MLM or something like that. I love, I'm, I'm here today because of network marketing. Uh, I'm friends with many of the CEOs of big network marketing companies. I'm so thankful to the industry. I just don't, I don't pray to an MLM. I, I, I it was so caught up that it was 24 hours a day. And it's the same with affiliate programs. I watch people, they get obsessed. Guys, lifestyle entrepreneur. This is about figuring out how much money do I need to break free, not get rich, break free from, from the work a day world. How do I, how do I make enough that will get me free? And what I showed you today is how you can double quadruple and 10 times, you know, Hey Grant, I can 10 times too, Grant Cardone. How to 10 times <laughs> the next. for revenue. Yeah, yeah. I, I can do it too. This would allow you. So if you're in a network marketing company and you sell nutritionals, you can sell sneakers and workout gear and 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 ball caps and all kinds of stuff like that. If you're into the um, you know, like a credit repair space or the crypto space or whatever. People are buying algorithms, they're buying software, they're buying other business tools. Anybody who's entrepreneurial in general is buying software, they're buying social media training, they're buying ad training, how to run ads. Mm -hmm. Think about the audience and think about all the other things that are going to buy from somebody other than you. And that's what you offer. That's what Guys, you are, you, are you getting this? I see a few questions. Uh, if you so, guys, it, it's just a bit tough for us to go back to the questions when it's in the chat. So it's much easier when you put it in the Q and A. Um, so someone here says, uh, "If I know nothing about this and I've never sold, where do I start?" You hang yep. out with these two guys in the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> what brought you here? Did did you have something to sell that you wanted to learn to sell? Or do you have nothing to sell and you're looking to begin and then you're in the best position of all? Because that means you can start to learn from these guys on how to focus on building an audience around something that you like. Like, you know, making golf your business, but that would not be hard for you because you love golf, right? Oh. Like, you would not be like crushed if, if all you did was golf all day long, every single day, because you love golf and talking about golfing, golf clubs and golf tools and golf clothes and golf shoes, you love it. I love marketing. That's why I made, I ended up 
stopping selling nutritionals and moving into the marketing space because I love marketing. You can tell. I could talk about marketing all day, all day. <laughs> every day. I love it. I read the books. I watch the, I listen to the podcasts. I watch the, the videos. I love marketing. I'm the only person like tonight, you know, as I'm said, maybe everybody's going to uh, decided not to Netflix and chill. Well, it's only one o'clock here on the East Coast of the United States. Tonight, I'm like the loser that will order some food in and watch marketing videos on Friday night. You know, I, I could be out, <laughs> out partying or something. I watch marketing videos on Friday night. I'm a marketing nerd. I love it. I made it my business. What do you love? So the person who asks, I know nothing. Think about what do you love? What could you talk about all day? Can you go find some affiliate programs and things with products to sell people? And then can you start to get out there and create an audience, which is not the topic today. There will be a whole other training. How to create an audience about something. Talking about golf, fun golf stuff, interesting golf stuff, helpful golf stuff, stories about um, professional golfers, etc. So, guys, if you remember last night when we ended off that la the, the the call, remember uh, uh, what I said? It comes down to your passion. You know, we were that was your homework. You know, we said, what is your niche? What is your passion? Because even when you're choosing, for example, a network marketing company, uh, you know, if if you're not someone that's interested in skincare, why do you want to join a network marketing company that's into skincare? You you're gonna have a hard time saying. Pay plan in the world, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has guys, it has nothing to do with the money, right? It's a uh, follow the passion. So far, if Fadio can speak about golf all day, what can you speak about all day? So you know the answer to that better than us, right? Mm -hmm. Uh then someone says, Do you need to show your face on TikTok for affiliate marketing? And I um, suppose I'll let I'll let Diane answer that. I'm not going to answer the question. I'm going to ask you a question. And then when you answer that question, I can tell you, do you not want to show your face because you have some real reason? Like, for example, it's a conflict with something else, or do you not want to show your face because you're afraid? And then based upon the answer to that, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. So favorite. type that answer in, in the meantime. Okay. Uh, do you have to go on TikTok to promote your product or affiliate program? blah right now it's super yeah. hot. Um, you know i i don't worry about the platform i worry about where are my Market. people so like for example there may not be as many golfers on tiktok i don't know i'd, I'd have to do a little research to find out there may Plenty. <laughs> are there okay there you go sure. See, because i'm not a golf person i don't know i'm always going to go do a little research um but it seems like tiktok's really exploded so it seems like there's pretty much people in every age range and every walk of life on it now um, so is the concern that your employer would see that you, um, yeah. that you were on social media? Cause I'm trying to find the person who said, do so, you have to show your face? So What's I think Jerry will answer that, but I think it goes towards in South Africa, not about in the States is, you know, um, conflict of interest. You haven't declared that you're doing something else outside of your job. So I'm they worry about your boss seeing you do other things and making money on the side. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm asking, is there a legit conflict? If there's a legit conflict, I would I would probably TikTok videos from what I see that don't have humans in, um, don't see do very well. I mean, unless you have a dog or a cat or something that's cute. And do they so TikTok people want to see people over there? Yeah. And and I always want you guys to ask yourselves too. And again, that's why I said if there's any cultural differences, you have to clue me in. In the United States, your boss can't stop you from making money outside of your job, but they can give you a hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, they can they can monitor you, they can give you a hard time. And of course, they can find another reason to fire you. So um, if, if it's really a conflict, it's really a conflict, but ask yourself, is it really a conflict? Cause most of the people that I talk to that say they don't want to be on camera, the conflicts in their mind, it's not in the world. And in most, in most companies, you can uh, declare your, 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 your interest. And remember guys, if you, 
and I'm going to speak from where I was. If you are in banking, for example, and you're building a TikTok audience around health and wellness, there's absolutely no conflict. So I can't see why there would be an issue with that. The other option, no matter what he does for a job. So, you know, you can always I went through a divorce. Lawyers were combing my social media to see that I said that I have gazillions of dollars that I hadn't declared or something like that. It was really weird because they were watching me. So I totally understand that feeling um, and my hesitation to talk sometimes. That's why, you know, I don't always talk about my income because it gets weird. Um, but you got to ask yourself, can I work around my perceived conflict? You almost always can almost always can. And by the way, I know a lot of people like, for example, they sell ketones, which is a nutritional supplement. Their, their content is all about recipes. They don't even talk about the ketones in the content, but they get people into a Facebook group or into some venue where they talk about the ketones and there's their network marketing company. What else? Anybody right. Else? Any other questions? No. So Adina just says, yeah, that is my conflict. It's in my mind. So yeah. Ah. Self-realization. Uh -huh. That's good. It's good to always acknowledge your own, you know, your, your weaknesses. So. That's awesome. 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 Have I right. worn them out? Are and, they tired? Um, as you can see, the guys are quite excited. They want to get started. Ready to get started. So. Guys, awesome. Any other questions, guys? For also, Aslam says he has bad connection. No problem, Aslam. That's why we as a team had to assist. What I what I want to challenge everybody to do this week, next week. Yeah. When you guys, because it seems like it's a lot of information, but you guys have seen this everywhere you go. If you buy furniture, they sell you covers for the furniture. They sell you side tables. They sell you a coffee table. They sell you a bed spread for your bed. If you buy a car, they sell you a warranty. They sell you mats. They sell you coating. If you buy anything that you buy, if you look in any store, they will always offer you something here.